my dear student for the class 10th here i am rajneesh kumar the first flight and i am here moving towards the first poetry and the name of the poetry is the dust of snow the dust of snow is a basically a heading of a poetry basically a heading of a poetry and it has been written by the robert frost as you know the robert frost was from basically the united states of the america since early time he faced so many odds during his life he himself means robert frost has been a singular bread winner of his the family by profession he was a farmer educator and the primary school teacher but on increasing load of his the family was on a such a degree that robert frost was finding himself very difficult to copy copy up so he took a very critical decision in his life and he left the america and the joined the london in a great britain as you know the london or a great britain welcomes for a new comer new ideas new innovators new motivators new discoveries within a 365 days in a london robert frost establishes the mark and he got his the first literary piece published there as his the literary piece published there it went as a viral in the total world and he was termed as the one of the most world most fantastic revolutionary poet his poetry has a great belief in the modern as well as the older sense he is a very classical blender of the modern and the ancient poetry here i am discussing about one of the very classic and very silent piece of that is a dust of snow first here we will go for the structure of the poetry this poetry is basically a structure is octet octet means it is of the eight lines 1 4 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 that's why this is octave o c t a v e and this octave has been divided in a two parts that is one part is the called verse you can say quadrant and second part is also called verse and the quadrant means verse or quadrant added with verse plus quadrant that finally makes octave the octave is nothing it is a simply a poetry of the eight lines and whereas the verse is a poetry of the four lines and the body of the dust and snow is added with the two verse and one octave is it clear here i am also discussing here about the rhyming sense when the harmony of the song hunts you in a harmony that is called rhyming sense as i am saying glow blow flow glow flow here in this poetry crow the sound effect and the sound harmony of the crow is the matching with the snow that's why this is a and the a and the me is added with tree me tree in the same manner in the second verse the heart is added with the part and where as the mood is the added with the root generally this sort of the rhyming sense was crafted deliberately by the poets during the dead period to make the poetry very meaningful and to stay in your mind for a long period now i am here
with each and every word. Generally, the way a crow, generally, as you know, the meaning of a crow, the crow is a type of word, generally, it, the feature is of the black. The word crow is the very neglected word in the poetic fraternity, especially in the English poetry. Despite the Robert Frost has given the word in a first line to give the effect to the river, to the reader. The way a crow shook down on me means the way a crow, the style, the fashion, the system, the way the crow shook his body on a tree, the dust of a snow, the particles of a snow form a hemlock tree. As you know, the very neglected and the poisonous tree is the hemlock. The so both is a negative word. The first is the crow and the second is a hemlock tree. Means the, even the crow is the soaking the body of a hemlock tree and the resulting the dust of the snow is the powering on the narrators. Means Robert Frost. Means Robert Frost is showing you, displaying towards the reader that deliberately they use the two negative sales of form. The one is the crow and the second is the hemlock tree. Both negativity and what becomes finally has given me heart. I realize the fact that my body is the getting the slum dust of a snow, a change of the mood. When hemlock tree, crow, powering of a snow on my body, cumulatively, additionally, has given a very wonderful effect psychologically on my mood, on my central nervous system, not on my, on a Robert Frost. And saved some part of a day I had ruined. And as my mood got elevated and saved my sum of part, I came there, the above of the problematic situation. Means he is, Robert Frost, giving a lesson to you, if, even if you pass through the problematic situation, Go ahead. And if you will go ahead, these all the problems will be auspicious for you. In the first line, the crow and the hemlock tree is non auspicious word, but this both word make the Robert Frost auspicious. It became the good luck for a Robert Frost. So, I think the thing is the clear. In this poetry, I discussed about the something uh, casting biopic of the Robert Frost. Then after also I discussed about the heading. Then after also I discussed about the what is verse, what is quadrant, and the what is octave. And also I discussed about the rhyming sense. In this way, I am closing my class. First, I am a First, uh, I would like to add the information to you. In, the, in this way, I will only close all the poetry in the coming days, especially for the 10th class. In the meantime, I am very much sure you are paying your attention towards your full of the study. And be a stay in you, your room. Study more, eat more, sleep more, but respect your parents and always be ready, not for the more hour of the study, go for the learning sense. Thank you very much.